Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial how to jailbreak iOS 10.3.1 and first off as you can see I'm not jailbroken and I do not have Syria and I am running general about iOS 10.3.1 now you don't need a computer to do this jailbreak it's actually one of the easiest jailbreaks I have ever seen. Uh, all you need to do is, from your iOS device, start up your Safari browser and go to this address here, pangu10.mobile. And uh, here you will get an explanation how it works. And they will tell you that you can't install Cydia on a device that has not been jailbroken. But you can, of course, install normal apps that Apple has approved, like Cooking Fever and such. Uh, and the Pangu team has found a smart way to hide Cydia and the jailbreak inside of an approved application. So when you download this application that has jailbreak and Cydia injected into it, and you then start this application, then the jailbreak and the Cydia installation will start in the background. So what you need to do is download an injected app and start it up. And then the installation of uh, well, then the jailbreak and installation of Cydia will start in the background. So wait for about 30 seconds to give the jailbreak time to finish and then restart your device to finish the jailbreak process. So on pangu10.mobile scroll to the bottom and click this icon here. And now you will ta be taken to the Cydia and Jailbreak Injected Apps Store. Uh, all apps on this page uh, are injected with Cydia and the Jailbreak. So you can pick any of these apps. I'm just going to pick one. doesn't matter which one you pick. They are all uh, injected with uh, Jailbreak code and Cydia. And um, sometimes these apps get patched. Uh, so if you try an app and it doesn't work, then it simply means that the app has been patched and you need to try another app. Uh, but of course the, all of the apps are free. You, you don't have to pay anything. Uh, you never have to pay anything for a real jailbreak. Uh, sorry about the guy screaming in the background. Now, let's see. And now we just need to open it up. And uh, keep it open for about 30 seconds. You can play around with it if you want to. Right, go away. Uh, you can play around with it if you are, like to. It doesn't matter. What's important is that you keep the app running, up and running, for about 30 seconds. Because right now, uh, the jailbreak is being installed in the background and Cydia, of course. So just wait a little longer. And if it doesn't work on the first try, it's not going to work on the second try. Because if it doesn't work on the first try, it means that the app has been patched. So then you need to try another app. Now that we waited 30 seconds, we are just going to restart our device. Press the power button. And keep it pressed, uh, power off. And if you wonder about that blinking light, you cannot see it with your naked eye. It's, uh, uh, what, what was it called again? Uh, damn, I totally forgot. Uh, was it eye or sensor? Something. Anyway, uh, if you don't, you shouldn't see that blinking light with your naked eye. But try record your iPhone and then watch the video. Then you will see that blinking light. So if you're wondering, there's nothing funky about it. It's supposed to be like that. Proximity sensor, perhaps. Uh, anyway, uh, this here, when you reboot, is a sign that the jailbreak is, is working. 
Uh, now it's just uh, preparing the file system and finishing up uh, completing the jailbreak and installing Cydia. And when you see the text saying pangu10.mobile, then you know that the jailbreak is complete and Cydia has been installed and everything is done and good to go. Shouldn't be too long now. Almost done. And there we go. Now the jailbreak and uh, Cydia has been installed and um, there we have Cydia. I'm just going to show you real quickly. Uh, version 10.3.1. Now we are jailbroken and we have Cydia on iOS 10.3.1. Now, if you like this video, then please do comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.